Take a look at these macro leaf photos. In today's video, I'll be walking you through step by step on how you can capture highly detailed, super sharp images of leaves just like these ones. Stick around and we'll get started in just a sec. Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adapt Looks, and welcome to another macro photography tutorial. Today we're shooting leaves. This is something that we've shot a couple of times on the channel already, but I've got a couple of new tricks up my sleeve that I want to show you guys. And you can never shoot too many leaves. It's a really simple, easy subject that you guys can do at home and you can get some really spectacular results, a lot of detail, a lot of color with a relatively simple setup. I'm going to set up with some of uh, the leaves that I've been out and gathered uh, and then I'll show you exactly what you need to do to create the images just like these ones. First things first, we need a camera setup. So I've got my uh, 100mm f2.8 Tekina lens on the front of my Sony a7 III, which is sat on a tripod. I'm not going to be doing any freehand work today like we did last time with the leaves. I want to be a little bit more meticulous and try and squeeze as much detail out of these leaves as possible. So that brings me on to this bit of kit in the middle here, which is a macro focusing rail. We're going to be doing some focus stacking today, again, to just try and get as much sharpness out of uh, the full length and the full size of these leaves uh, so we can get all of that detail. Um, the last thing that I've got plugged in here is a, uh, a little um, shutter release cable and that's just going to make taking all of those photos for our stacks a little bit quicker. So where are we going to put our leaves? Well, obviously in front of the camera, but I'm not going to stand here and hold them up like this. Uh, we've got a new bit of kit for that. Uh, so we like our weird looking contraptions and this is uh, the latest addition to the Adapt Look shop. This is a macro uh, subject holder. So we've got lots of flexible arms that can move wherever you need them to be. And we've got some crocodile clips on the ends of each of these four arms. So you can quite easily uh, place your subjects exactly where you need them to be in front of the camera uh, with no hassle at all uh, moving all of these extra arms out of the way uh, so you can find exactly where you need your subject to be and position uh, something like leaves really easily whereas otherwise it would be quite tricky to find uh, something that would hold uh, quite a delicate uh, subject like this. So we're going to be using our new macro subject holder to uh, position our leaves in front of the camera and then we're going to position our lighting with even more weird flexible arms right behind our leaves. With our lighting I'm going for one thing and one thing only and that is backlighting. I'm going to be lighting my leaves from behind to shine light through the leaf itself and pick out all of that color and the, uh, the detail and the structure of the leaf. Uh, you'll find that the light will silhouette the, uh, the capillaries of the leaf and the structure of um, the thicker parts of the leaf against all of the lighter parts where it's easier for the light to shine through. Uh, so the way that I'm going to be doing that is by using a single lighting arm S in my uh, control pod of the Adapt Look Studio. I'm just going to plug uh, this one lighting arm in um, and then move my little mini tripod with the studio in close behind my leaf and I can just fine tune exactly where that light is placed on the back of my leaf. I can make it brighter by moving it closer and get a smaller spotlight or of course move it back and fill more of the leaf itself. Uh, so I said at the beginning this is a relatively simple setup and I think that's exactly what we've got. I know it looks a bit uh, complex with all of these flexible arms uh, but trust me all it is is a camera, a leaf and some light behind it so that you can shine that light through and illuminate the leaf seemingly from within. So once you have your leaf in place and your lighting set up behind it, it's time to look at your composition and settings. So you need to move your camera around to find an area of the leaf that you want to take a look at. And depending on which area of the leaf you choose, uh, you're going to need to change your settings. All of these leaves have uh, quite a lot of variation in how 
bright and dark they are. So as you move and look around, uh, you might need to compensate by changing your lighting or changing your settings. My settings are currently 1 one hundredth of a second, ISO 250 and F5.6, but those are going to change and your settings are almost certainly going to be different to that. Uh, this is just a good baseline to work from. That, uh, that shutter speed means that we're not going to have any camera shake. Uh, my ISO is low enough that I won't have any grain and my aperture really doesn't matter that much when we're focus stacking like this. It just needs to be um, uh, wide enough so that we get a depth of field uh, suitable for taking the amount of shots that we're going to take. So that does lead us onto our focus stacking. Now, if you're not familiar with focus stacking, um, we do have a full tutorial on how to do this, and I'll link that up in the top right hand corner. Uh, for now, all I'm going to be doing is moving my camera through my scene. Uh, that's going to bring with it the plane of focus. So my focus will stay uh, exactly where it is, and as my camera moves back, uh, my focus will move back with it. That's going to give us a slice of each cross section of our leaf. Uh, each slice will be in focus and then we'll put it into a piece of software uh, to combine all of those slices together and choose only the in focus parts of the image. Now that might sound a little bit uh, complicated if you've never done focus stacking, but once you get used to it, it is a really handy technique to know. All of these leaves have a lot of surface relief on them. They're all curled over and all of these veins stick out. If you are trying to focus on a leaf like this, close up like we are, your, um, your depth of field is not going to be enough to get all of the image in focus. Uh, so that means that we need to get uh, multiple images with different parts in focus. The deeper parts, and then the middle, and then the closer parts. That's what we're doing by moving our camera backwards. We're taking slices, cross sections of our leaf in focus. This means that you can shoot at an angle, you can shoot uh, strange leaves that are all curled over. You uh, really have no limits when it comes to your depth of field. Uh, you just need to have the patience to take lots of images and do a bit of post-processing. I've been stacking my leaves for quite a while now. It is a very um, time consuming and laborious process, especially when you add in the extra time spent in post-processing. I've been post-processing using uh, Helicon Focus, which I'll link to down in the description. Uh, it's a very self-explanatory piece of software, but if you do need an explanation, it's all covered in that photo stacking tutorial that I talked about a little while ago. I do think that the time spent is worth it though, getting all of that detail uh, and not having to worry about your depth of field on a subject that is uh, quite, um, uh, it's got a lot of surface relief there, they're very curved over, uh, which would usually be a huge problem for macro, um, but eliminating that altogether is worth the investment, I think. Uh, now, if you're not interested in uh, photo stacking or uh, maybe you don't have a photo uh, stacking rail or anything like that, um, embracing that shallow depth of field is absolutely an option. That's what we did in our previous tutorials. A link to uh, one of our previous um, leaf tutorials up in the corner there. Uh, and we can um, just embrace that shallow depth of field, get a little bit of soft focus. It's a different style of image, but it's equally interesting. Let me know what you think to my leaf photos today, whether you prefer those fully sharp stacked shots or the more soft focus ones that we've had previously. Um, and I'd like to see some of your leaf photos. This month in the uh, monthly macro challenge that we run, uh, we're looking at autumn leaves. So you have an opportunity to head over to the uh, Adaptlux Facebook page, enter your own leaf photos for a chance to win some prizes. First prize this month is our macro subject holder, which is brand new to the Adapt Look shop. A link to that down below as well, and a link up in the top right hand corner once again uh, to this month's macro challenge. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something about shooting leaves, make sure to give the video a like and make sure to hit subscribe for more of those challenge videos and more macro photography tutorials, ideas, 
and inspiration coming in the future. For now though guys, that is all that I've got time for. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.